Well, I'm heading up the mountain here to try to put my wolf traps back in. Uh, as you can see, there's still quite a bit of snow and stuff. But it's been this road has been graveled in places, but uh, where I'm going, they don't plow it, and I don't think I'm gonna be able to drive down in there. It's gonna be too crusty, but we'll see. Lovely snowing day, checking wolf traps, and I got a fox. Not, not quite the critter I was hoping for, but by golly, it's a fox. Snow's kind of deep. Right there at the base of that stump is where my uh, the trap was. And got a chain wired off to this tree here. Now I don't think he's been in there that long. There's not a real clear catch circle. But So the unpleasant part of that is over with. Um, got the fox out of the trap and I have reset it. I should probably replace this with a, um, a, a new trap that's not got any scent on it. But I really don't think that wolves care that much about fox as far as being worried about it. And if it smells like a fox, it might actually even be better. Um, okay, so my trap chain, I I had this. I got this cable tie up here. I got the chain down to the base of the tree. And pull the, pull the trap chain out about as far as it needs to be. And just throw it into the snow. Make sure it's covered up. All right. Now, it's taken me a while to figure out how to trap in this deep snow without them freezing down. I don't know how my camera's aimed. I didn't grab my tripod here. Um, Well, anyway, so what I got here, let me put my gloves back on. Okay, so what I got here is this real thin styrofoam type stuff that comes on shipping pallets. It's used to pad things like refrigerator doors and things like that. It's real thin, probably less than a sixteenth, and uh, being styrofoam, it doesn't freeze. So what I do is I put the, the trap chain through the center of this, being that these are center swiveled, and put this under the trap so that it doesn't freeze down. And just force it into the force it into the snow so that it's solid. I might pack around the edges with some more solid snow. I'll try not to get any on the inside where that styrofoam pad is. Again, I just push the trap chain down into the snow here and cover it up so that it's hidden from view. All right, then I didn't grab one out. I got a, I've got another 
a pan cover made out of that same stuff and then I sift some more snow over the top of it my uh, bait is back in there it's a part of a beaver with a little bit of urine on the edge of that stick right there well oh, anyway let me grab that pan cover okay so here's my pan cover just out of styrofoam that other one being white it's here someplace but I don't know where just lay that over the top and then reach over a ways from the trap and get this really fluffy snow and I just put it right over the top just like that you want it you don't want it real deep because it's snowing now it's going to get covered up more but uh, you can kind of see the dark spot where the trap is. You kind of want that hidden from view if you can do it. Let's see, get a little from over here. Just like that. And they say that if something wood, not metal, is a better thing to use for snow. But uh, I don't have one with me. I should, I should make one. And that's really all there is to it. For a kneeling cloth, for a kneeling cloth, I use this year's deer. This is the one I got uh, in the last video. Uh, me and Cindy did, and uh, I usually put it flesh side down. That way, if there's any smell at all, it's the smell of a deer and not a person. So to finish this set up. I've got a little, um, I got allergy problems, so I got all these nose sprayed bottles. I washed them out, and this one has wolf urine in it. So I'll give that a little squirt right there, like that. Um, these nose spray bottles work really well. The, if the top of it, under the cap here now, I put the cap on, uh, the part that you put up your nose, that comes out. And inside of there, there's a little hose that comes down. And that needs to come out of there. Then they make really good little squirt bottles. And uh, holds about the right amount for, you know, re reluring a day's set or whatnot. And it fits in your pocket and stays warm that way. So, anyway, that's all there is to that. Um, what I do now, ah, I don't bend well. Grab, um, grab my deer hide, and then take a take a broom, basically. Oops, I just uncovered my trap. And I just kind of broom out my footsteps. What's snowing now will help. It'll. Uh, It'll uh, even things out a little bit, even more so. And I just kind of back off a few steps so there's no tracks right close to my, my trap. fill in my tracks as I go like I say these scratch marks and things they'll even out and here in a couple hours you won't even hardly know that those were there come back I don't know 10 12 feet or so they got good noses they're gonna know you're there anyway but the the tracks are um, something that makes them a little bit wary well if I can get rid of the tracks, I, it can't really do anything but help. Alright, so here's the finished remade set, ready to go. And I can't forget to grab my fox on the way out. already snowing pretty good but he's kind of a pretty one he's um, got a little bit of the the cross fox features brush him off here 
most uh, most red fox most red fox are just straight red and this one's mostly red but see how he's got a little bit of gray coloring to his hips and his belly uh, north of the 45th parallel which is where we are um, you start to get into these cross fox and they used to be worth a little bit more money than a regular cherry red one but that's kind of gone downhill but um, anyway they they're pretty and that's pretty much what I end up catching here usually well check the next traps
time it took to check those traps and set two more, there's probably five or six inches of new snow that's fell since I came up here this morning. Pretty good little storm. The, uh, the flakes are not very big, but they're steady. This is one of the few roads around that I know of that uh, they do plow. So on my next trap check day, which uh, hopefully they'll have it plowed out again. <laughs> 